What's up everyone and welcome back to another ninja tutorial. So in this one we're gonna be finally going inside Webflow and like adjusting the homepage itself. We're gonna be going over let's say six or seven steps. It's gonna be editing navigation bar, changing hero images, changing like uh, changing some of the sections, adding some of the sections, uh, like adding client logos and then finally editing the footer itself. So let's jump into Webflow and start designing. As we said in the previous like tutorials, we're gonna be creating something like this. So we're actually really close to achieving a design like this as we change all of the fonts uh, and then like adjusted a lot of items here. But they're gonna be, we're gonna need to like adjust some final items in order to achieve this look. Looking at the design, first thing we need to add is edit the navigation bar. Uh, we're gonna be going ahead and ad adjusting the Agencia template to be or Schmickage, according to the design. Um, then we have projects about uh, contact, process, and the blog. As this is gonna be a one pager for me for this tutorial, we're gonna create another one, like let's say in a week that's gonna cover all of the other pages. We're gonna be changing the names here to let's say about. It's gonna be a page jump. Contact can go to the footer process we're not gonna have and then the blog we're not gonna have probably so let's do about uh let's do projects it's gonna be a page jump and yeah that's gonna be it basically the navigation bar itself is adjusted we can see that if we scroll now it's gonna get the color and yeah we actually do not need to do anything else more than that now the next thing is adjusting the hero itself um you see now we have like uh first by clicking the section and opening this up you have the hero symbol itself by clicking the wrench icon on the right you're gonna see the three possible background images to change so i'm just gonna grab some images that i prepare here it's gonna be like this one it's gonna be this one and it's gonna be this one so those are gonna be the three images we're gonna use for this this and this cover uh, then we need to change the copy itself so we're gonna do founder of, of and then like the tip if you don't want to like redo the classes and everything like that you just start typing here and it's gonna be flow ninja remove we have teaching webflow at and then again like start from the second word because if you start here sometimes you might lose the class itself so by starting here youtube and then removing this teaching webflow at youtube we're gonna be adjusting this a little bit also just to fit in the copy and then find out my story below bam that's it um so as you see we we're running into a small problem here that we cannot fit this in so if that happens and you want to change you can go here all h1 headings and we're using viewport width here at the moment. So basically the font is going to be a percentage of the width of the screen itself. We can change that to be, let's say, 6 pixels here. Or it's like 6.5, 6 I mean, viewport width. Something like that. And let's test this on like a really big screen. It's going to still look good. 3000. 3000. Still looking great. So that is it. Let's go and resize the screen back to the normal size. And then in my design, I was changing this to say Rosh Mekic here. And then this still stays 0, 1. One more thing I did, uh, you can see here that you have the hero grid. So this is in a grid format. We can go ahead and like select the ST font, see where it's nested in the container and add like font center, center, text. Okay, we don't have a class like that. So center, text. We're fine to add a class of center text and then center this to be more like the design itself. So yeah, uh, now one more thing is we're going to need to adjust the hover effect. So if you see, if you go here, everything is working, but the hover effects are reverting everything to be white itself. So we need to go ahead and here, this hover feature link this way. The text color of this one needs to change to this and the text color of everything else can change to something like this. Nah, it's too much. We're going to create a new shader just for this to be something like this. 
bam that's it hover and then on the hover out feature we're gonna be changing this this color we're gonna be changing the text color of this this color and then of the st font also to this color that way we can see hopefully everything is working as it should be now we have the hero set set up let's see what else we need to do so if we bring back the design on this screen we see the hero here and then the hero on this side and everything was implemented pretty easily now after this we're going to be needing to adjust the next section so we're adjusting these context sections so we have the images for that and then we're going to be adjusting the content on the right so let's start by adjusting images so we're using me behind a pc screen uh, we're using uh, the learning phase me writing and then the current so by click by going on the top section and then clicking collapsing everything just so we can make it easier and click again on this one you can see the section here so you, you, if you place command c command v you're gonna have the section up here on the bottom and then you can just duplicate it here just because we need three sections in this case so then let's start adding the copy and the images so images is this and then like the final image the third one is gonna be the team one let's add a team image here and now for this one let me go here uh we have a different copy so we have the beginning now uh, let's paste this in we're gonna see that in my design i was using a h4 here so basically for seo reasons i would recommend sticking to using h2 just because you have h1 and then you have h2 you have h2 and then you have h2 but for this case just for a design sense uh we're gonna paste this to be h4 so we need to have the st font like st font and then add no margin and then we're going to be featuring this and this. So we have the Jakatra font. Okay, this is another class that we now stumbled upon that we need to change. So this will need to be greenhouse. And then I'm going to... So instead of the button here, we're going to be removing that and then adding a paragraph here. And then adding a class of no margin. So yeah, now this is looking pretty fine. And then the final thing is like you, you saw me adding here some GIFs. Upload, download. Give it upload. So yeah, now uh, in order to change this icon wrap, you can either change the icons to something else. But in this case, we're going to be removing the icon itself, getting to the icon wrap and then pasting an image. Then let's add a class of GIF image to this one uh, on the parent icon wrap we're gonna be setting the overflow of none and now basically for this the gif image can be cover with 100% and the height 100% and then going inside and pasting this in so now let's also increase the size of it as according to the design it was a lot bigger maybe seven and seven and then rounding the edges to be more rounded now the z index can be bigger of nine now bam we have that section sorted out after that we have the current again doing the same thing oh no that's not the current we have the learning phase and then we're gonna be pasting that in and again changing this to h4 one of the hacks you can actually go ahead and do is like changing this to be h2 actually but creating a class of h4 just for seo purposes so it's going to be looking a little bit better so that is that let me just go and like the learning phase we pasted that one in and then let me paste this in so now looking at the design the label itself we can see that we do not want to actually have it all caps so by clicking on the top right then going to the label we can remove the capitalizing so it's going to be looking a little bit more like the design itself now pasting that in now we need to apply a class of st font and then applying a class of no margin uh, and now we need to feature strategic design and learning design that is going to be jacquard for font 
We can change this class later on to be secondary or primary fun, just it's gonna be a little bit easier later on. Then learning design. Again, check out our font. Bam. For that section, we're gonna need a GIF again. So we can copy this icon wrap and remove this one for the time being. Uh, and change the GIF to be different. Giphy, this Mac, desktop, anywhere, zero points. Um, let's use this one for now, just we don't slow down the, the video itself. And then we're gonna need a paragraph, so let's copy this one, paste it in here, and remove the test text from here. We can paste that in, of uh, like, we can change this used. Tools like Buffalo and the ship product facts there. And then now we have the current. Paste that in here. H4, again the same process, ST font. And then we're gonna be strategic design sprints. ST font. Now in this case it's Jakatra. That's it, and then finally, let's remove this one. So now we're gonna be pasting the final section, pasting in the GIF, uh, and then pasting the current happenings. H4, mm, now let me go back. So we're gonna be adding an ST font. And we're gonna featuring strategic design design sprints. Jakatra font, and then the final one is gonna be Atplo Ninja. Here. Uh, that's gonna be the Jakatra font. Bam. That is that. Uh, now we have the contact, or let's do visit Flow Ninja. That is that. Amazing. So yeah, that's that section sorted out. Let's go to the next one. Now we have these logos. Let's see. So the logos in uh, the template itself are created with the CMS. That is the Webflow Content Management System. So in order to adjust uh, those logos, we need to go in the CMS itself. So by clicking the CMS icon on the left, we can see client spotlights. We can see the client logos here. And then also the client logo number. So let me go ahead and export everything here. Ungroup these. This is going to be Anthem. This is gonna be this. Uh, this is gonna be accelerate, Upwork, John. Then gather all of these up and then export them as SVG. And now we can go into each project. For uh, the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna be going ahead and like changing these uh, like single logos on the homepage. And then in the next part of the tutorial that's gonna be coming soon, we're gonna be actually going ahead and adding all of the items to the pages themselves. So let's go ahead and like add Anthem, delete this image and then add this here. Bam, that is it. Client website link, client description, that is that. We're going to be adding uh, another one, death to the stock photo. Uh, delete that. Let's have this to be the second one. Let's have this to be the first one. Mm, good. Let's add the third one, let's say Upwork, and yeah, that moves on basically. So after that, you're going to be editing all of the other ones. You're going to be editing White and Fine, Meek Media, like everything like that. So let me add the fourth one now. So that's going to be the fourth. Uh, let me upload this. Uh, actually, this is Upwork. Huh, my bad. I'm naming these. Uh, this is going to be Upwork. This is going to be the fourth one. And then let's go back and like change this to be accelerate. And then let's upload this to be accelerate itself as it should be. Bam. Uh, now, if we go back, we're going to see these logos being updated. So now you can see that like if you click the pin icon on the right, you're going to have the client logo number. So let's go ahead. Like we have the Upwork being the fourth. Uh, now let's do Mic Media can be the fifth. Now, Green Garden can be the sixth one to get rid of the old ones. Now, the Favero can be the seventh one. 
and then the core create can be the eighth one so that is that now that is working bam uh if you just have like let's say if you only have four of the clients that you want to feature we can go ahead and select the other one like the five six seven eight one delete those delete permanently and then basically here double click on the symbol itself click on the trust logo item collapse everything click again just so it's gonna be a little bit easier and then you have the logo list right wrapper if you go on the top right you're gonna be seeing limit items show for start at one and then here uh limit items show for start at five if you uh, set start at one again we're gonna have a, an infinite loop of the same logos once more so you see in our case is the same loop of the logos here that is now working amazing uh, now the next section we're gonna be editing is the uh like work section so coming back to this some of my latest projects is gonna be the copy so let's do some of my latest projects and again uh, this is just a container so if we get uh, center flex we're gonna be centering this in the center and let me just see we're gonna be needing to upload these projects so the projects themselves are gonna be uploaded from the CMS part uh, we can go ahead and, uh, and get started here uh, the CMS works and we need to upload everything here uh, so this is gonna be a part of the next tutorial so after this we're gonna be adding the uh, works we're gonna be adding uh, and changing the footer and then the last component of the page itself so yeah talk to you in the next tutorial bye, -bye.